Hey everyone, Sean Clement here, and I am at the Fairways Golf Center here in Branford, Connecticut. Really cool spot. Very cottagey looking. There's a wedding going on over here. We just had a spectacular day with awesome breakthroughs all around with, with, with all of our students and just having a blast here. Our sessions in, um, in New Jersey went so well. Just on the other side of New Jersey, um, we were on the other side of the bridge from, Trent, uh, bridge from uh, Trenton, New Jersey in um, Morrisville, PA. And um, here's what really made a difference with a couple of my students today. The running throw. So a little something to get out of Happy Gilmore. So I'm going to pretend I'm throwing my club in that direction. And, but I'm going to take a running start at it. And you'll notice that um, the timing, the, uh, the suspension. So you notice in a lot of my swings, you see, you see a nice pause at the top of the backswing. So what's really important about that is that I'm never trying to make it happen. It just happens by itself. That's me not interfering with the change of direction of the golf club. So notice I'm not interfering with this. So if I'm doing, I'm going to do a running throw. And it feels like I can throw this sucker a long distance away. So if I had a Frisbee in my hands, I'm going to do a Happy Gilmore Frisbee. So that feels like I can throw the Frisbee a lot further down there. So the timing of the swing, nobody ever messes this one up because they got to wait till you get to that front leg. So the video, uh, I, I, I did a couple of videos today with my students and they both engage their kinetic chains brilliantly, okay? So here's how you're going to do that. So you start off here and you're getting ready to do that running throw. Everybody move forward and everybody paused at the top. So how do you know you're making that pause? Well, everything is suspended at the top of the backswing while you're stepping into that forward leg. So you're getting beautiful timing, beautiful tempo, and you're getting everything you need to whip the snot out of it easily. So this is how I, I got to light up my left-handed swing. You saw that in a video a while back. So we're perfecting now three aspects of the swing in a superb way. So number one, that beautiful pause at the top of my backswing, I'm just letting the weight of that arm club unit. Do you hear that compression? That was, uh, that was extremely pasted. So number two, the timing of, so we're looking at the pause and the timing so I got lots of room to grab the ground. I'm not even trying to do that. And in my right-handed swing, I'm really, um, I'm really getting to throw that club. My pause is actually longer at the top of my backswing now. And I'm throwing that club with ease and velocity. So I got my seed box and I'm gonna throw right over. So I gather. And that was just bliss on a stick. So we got the pause, we got the plant, we got the timing, and we're not trying to do any of the sort. And I'm just matching the same feel. So today, what really worked with another one of my students is, and he says he had a little power leak going on in his swing over the course of the summer. And, uh, and Matt did that running throw as well. And instead of thinking about how big you want the backswing to be, he did the running throw. And it's amazing how much your back is to the target when you're performing that particular drill. And then he experienced like the biggest slash that he ever felt. So now we're just going, okay. What would that, what did that slash feel like? So that to me felt a lot more strenuous than the one I just experienced. So now I'm going to look for that, that big slash. Oh yeah. So instead of focusing on finishing my backswing, 
I'm focusing on the quality of the slash that I experienced in the running throw. And now my brain's figuring out what it needs to do in the backswing for me to achieve that. So if you're looking for more distance, do a nice running throw. And then obviously you want to feel that running throw in a very specific direction. So I'm doing draw, I'm going to start it over that box. So now I'm looking for the same quality slash. And wow, that was just pasted. <laughs> it just landed. So man, enjoy that. You know, employ the running throw for those particular situations. And we're going to be talking a little bit more about that in the very near future. All the best.